Yeah. Uh, now, uh, yesterday, uh, Lab Techs woke up to uh, a shocking, I'd, I'd, I'd call it a shocking uh, advert by the pharmacy and poisons board that were purporting to advertise for um, uh, blood screening specialists. And uh, I'm here asking myself um, how pharmacy and poisons board uh, where where they come in in terms of uh, blood. Uh, blood has never been a pharmacy thing. Blood has never been a pharmacy thing. Actually, uh, pharmacy comes nowhere uh, in, 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 in the blood uh, donation and transfusion cycle. So, usually it's the donors come, uh, they get screened in the lab, they donate in the lab, the blood donor unit is located in the lab. The blood bank is is located within the blood uh, within the lab. Uh, the cross match procedure is done within the lab. The transfusion is done in the wards, and the reports are filed there. So pharmacy uh, and poisons board jana boldly uh, advertised for uh, blood uh, screening specialist, and I ask myself where pharmacy and poisons board comes in, uh, in, 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 in in blood and blood products. Where are you, Bana? You, you, you know, you need to, to stop taking laboratory technologies for granted. Eh? If, if someone will share this with the pharmacy and poisons board, then you need to tell them that we are no, the, 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 the time is now. The time is now. We are no longer going to be beaten while we are seated. Uh, taking away roles arbitrarily. Uh, pharmacy, as far as I'm concerned, in, their, in, in, in the Pharmacy and Poisons Act, uh, they're supposed to be regulating drugs and personnel and advising the president in those terms, those specific terms of drugs and, and related. Blood is not a drug. What drug is it? Is blood. Nini ndiyo mnanyima wanamahabara kazi. You know, I'll, 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 I'll categorically state here that we are expecting KMLTTB under the chairmanship of uh, Titus Mutuiri that it's time that you come out and com communicate strongly that we are not going to take all these things while sitting. The task sharing guidelines, I think it will require 2017, it was suspended that we wanted to take a lot of things from the laboratory. Ilikuwa suspended the court. Now, certain components of that task, task policy sharing guideline are some of the things that are getting sneaked into healthcare today. And people who are not authorized to test are testing. Are testing. Counselors are testing for HIV in there. Those counseling groups. What school have they gone to? No testing. Do they know the principles of, of testing? I'm not for counselors should not test, but they should. They need to be trained laboratory technologists to test, not just test. Pharmacies have opened uh, unauthorized labs in their pharmacies, and now they are adding blood. I think there's a cartel that wants to sell blood. And we are not just being told. So Kenyans, even the general public needs to be aware that there is nowhere that pharmacy is coming in in blood and blood products. And they must be stopped. So I want to uh, call upon all the laboratory technologists that are listening to this. It's time that we raise our voices and get heard. These people have taken us for granted. Laboratories are run by non-lab lab technologists. I don't want to quote any title of any person today because it's something I'll come to at a later date. But these are things that cannot be uh, acceptable in the current world. I want us to compare ourselves to uh, countries that laboratories have progressed. South Africa in Africa, Ghana in Africa, 
are they doing things the way we are doing? They are not. But it's because we've allowed the system to work on us. Yeah. You walk into in, in, into a pharmacy, there's a, there, there, there's a kitchen laboratory that uh, the, the results that are generated in are questionable. Yeah? Results generated in those pharmacies are questionable. I'm, I'm actually cautioning the public against getting tested in a pharmacy. Ati kwa sababu imeandikuwa api kwa nalabu. One pharmacy I, I employed a laboratory technologist here in town and they were paying that lady 500 shillings in a single day. Someone who went to school, went for internship and they're paying her 500 shillings per day. These are the things that need to be stopped. And pharmacy and poisons board, you are not going to take this away from the laboratory. You are not going to take it. So, uh, Titus Mutwiri and the team at KMLTTB kindly come out strongly for lab. In harassing those small labs that have been opened by laboratory technologists. These are the things you need to do. This ones. This thing cannot be allowed to go to pharmacy. What are they going to do? What do the pharmacists know about blood? Kuna moja ata hakuwa na jua blood groups ni gani. A pharmacist. A doctor. A pharmacy. And then today you want to regulate something you know nothing. Or you know very little about. But now that is bullshit. That is bullshit. And it will not happen. The Kenya National Union of laboratory officers. Mm. <laughs>